Welcome to Trigger King RCTV for event number three, bracket number five of the 2024 Summer Series Pro Mod Action. All out, full throwdown, no holds barred, monster truck racing as we take a look at some of the fastest qualifiers. Jeremy Mark putting two trucks in the top three, but Josh Rhodes in maximum destruction takes the top spot with the 597, the only truck under six seconds. We'll see if he can flex some Max D muscle going into the bracket and back up that number one qualifying position. But we're starting out with number 16 and number 17 qualifiers, Mr. Holmes Power and Purple Haze. It was close down to the final straightaway, but a bad bounce for Holmes Power gives the win to Purple Haze. Chris Hackinson in Fallout 2, facing off with the Gravedigger LMT from newcomer Greg Coffey. Like the drink, only spelled different. Coffee in trouble in the near lane. Hackinson laying it down with fallout. Coffee charges towards the final straightaway, but no way getting it done. It goes to fallout. Chicha Gosh in the far lane with the awesome four wheel crazy Toyota concept Pro Mod truck and newcomer Michael Spurlock in the Gunslinger. He's been making a mark this season. Wow, neck and neck. Cheech gave him a run, but it goes to the Gunslinger. He moves to round number two. Boogie Van, Fred Kors, and Stomper Chris Lane. Stomper, the number four qualifier. Meanwhile, Boogie Van only the 29. And it's going to be all number four. Stomper takes the win easily. Indominus, number 13, facing off against Ballistic Orange Chris Blank, the Battle of the Chrises. Oh! The dinosaur leaps off the starting line, drilling blank on the tree and cruising to victory from there. Indominus moves to round number two. Josh Rhodes in Gravedigger in the near lane and Zeus Iron Aaron Janes in the far lane. No power of the gods this time. It goes to Grave Digger as Rhodes moves to round number two. Chichagosh back up in the Raminator representing Hall Brothers where that is his one-to-one -one scale full-time employer representing on a one-tenth scale here but he's facing off against Atomic Orange Chris Blank. Cheech in trouble in the far lane. Atomic Orange goes off for the win. A number 15, number 18 matchup. Crash Test Dummy, Keith Vogt, and Wild Hair, Troy Hawes in the far lane. Both trucks taking a conservative approach. Oh, a little freestyle point for Keith at the end of the track, but Crash Test Dummy takes that win. Keith right back up on the line with his other truck in the bracket. USA 1 facing off against irreparable damage from Isaac Ankrum, the BMCRC truck looking awesome in the far lane, taking the win. We're in the bottom side of bracket for round number one as equalizer Chris Parrish, the number 10, faces off with Hellion. Aaron James. James with issues off the start. Equalizer gets the win. Goblin. Chris Hackinson in the far lane and Careless Whisper. Mike Bufka in the near lane, the tube truck. We've talked about it before. Oh! Buffka in trouble, and that's all it's going to take for the Goblin to sneak to the win. Red Rocket, Isaac Ankrum. We saw him earlier in Irreparable Damage. 
Second truck out there. I'm noticing several of the trucks pulling hard to the right in the near lane on that first obstacle. We'll have to see how that plays out. But underpowered Andy Salerno takes the win. Mad Dog Troy Hawes and Avenger Chris Lane in the far lane. Avenger, he's been looking pretty strong in some of the standings. Oh! A little kick at the end there. Puts him up and over, but past the finish line, and he gets the win nonetheless as we start out with round number two. <laughs> Incredible. Purple Haze had to battle through round one to face the number one qualifier and then knocks off Maximum destruction. Fallout 2 and Gunslinger, an 8-9 matchup. This could be really close. But we just saw numbers don't mean a thing. Oh, wow, that was all out of shape. Gunslinger missing the final ramp, costing him a two-second penalty, handing the win to Fallout 2. Stomper in the far lane, number four versus number 13, Indominus. Neck and neck, wow, oh my goodness, that was a close race. Lane was charging in the far lane, but not quite enough to get past Indominus right at the finish line. Gravedigger Josh Rhodes looking for a little bit of retribution after going down as the number one qualifier, gets a huge jump on Atomic Orange. Oh, they're all out of shape, and Rhodes goes down again. Atomic Orange, Chris Blank takes the victory, knocking off the number five Gravedigger. Crash Test Dummy and Sudden Impact. Sudden Impact, the number two qualifier, he had a bye through round one, so this is his first race. Sometimes that can actually hurt you as you sit on the shelf waiting for action, but not this time as Sudden Impact flies to victory. Irreparable damage and equalizer, a 7-10 matchup. Ankrum in the far lane, Parrish in the near lane. Two very different types of trucks here. Wow! Power down on the final straightaway. They were neck and neck, but irreparable damage gets the power to the ground and flies to victory. Hackinson showing the spirit in the near lane with the goblin. He's ready to go, trying to spook the competition, and he does it. He nails Jeremy Mark to the starting line. Oh, Torres tried to charge back, but Goblin gets it at the finish line. Wow. Our final pair in round number two, Avenger number 11 and underpowered number 27. Underpowered in trouble already. Avenger with a smooth victory. Round number three, action. You see a little sportsmanship as we get ready for the first pair. Purple Haze, Andy Salerno, and Fallout, Chris Hackinson. Neck and neck through the first straightaway. But Fallout 2 rolling over after the finish line, but he got the power down on that final straightaway, making it happen. There you go. As the dinosaur is on the line, Indominus facing off with Atomic Orange. A battle of the Chris's once again and again. Indominus nails Chris Blank on the tree, but issues on the first straightaway, and Atomic rolls to victory. Sudden impact and irreparable damage. This is a number two, number seven matchup. This could be exciting. Ankrum running his brand new BMC RC fighter and flying to the victory. Looking good out there against sudden impact. 
Goblin, Chris Hackinson, and Avenger, Chris Lane. Goblin in all kinds of trouble, and Chris Lane does it once again, moving to the semi-final round of action. Our first pair, Fallout 2, Chris Hackinson, and Atomic Orange, Chris Blank. Lots of Chris, as you'll notice, but we've got another all Chris battle. K versus C, and they're all out of shape. But Fallout hits the ramps and gets to the line first, moving to the final round. Our other semifinal pair, Irreparable Damage and Avenger. These two have been marching steadily through the field today. Who's going to the finals? Oh, and Lane in trouble in the near lane in the Avenger truck. Ankrum smooth once again. He heads to the finals. That sets it up, a 7-8 matchup with Irreparable Damage facing off against Fallout 2. So clearly two trucks, fairly solid, very consistent throughout the day. Who's going to take the final round in bracket five? A little bit of a delay on the light, making the drivers think. Ankrum off to the lead and smooth sailing easily taking the final round victory and bracket number five. Isaac Ankrum puts it in the winner circle. Next time out, he'll be ahead of the field as we head into bracket six competition. Ankrum will be looking to steal the overall event trophy for the day and he is on top of the pile for the day so far with half of the action done. Taking a look at the season point standings, Firestone Bigfoot still out in the lead and Avenger Chris Lane right there neck and neck. We've got more action coming up soon in bracket number six, the second bracket of event number three, and it should be more exciting action. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.